Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a sarak bonu shak, also known as a sing or drumstick, and some places also called a sajan ki fali. It's a sabzi that is made with uh, drumsticks and has a delectable taste and flavor, and it's absolutely wholesome and nutritious. So, without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make this classic Gujarati dish, which is called the sarak bonu shak. So, into a pressure cooker, we're going to add in the oil. We'll add in the kalaunji seeds. Kalaunji seeds brings in a great taste and flavor. You can also add a jwain or cumin, uh, jeera seeds, or even mustard seeds for the matter, but kalaunji just heightens the flavor of the sarag vonusha. Let it crackle a bit. To this, I'm gonna add in the cinnamon sticks, the bay leaf, we'll just stir it up, and ginger, the curry leaves, and Finely chopped tomatoes. We'll just give it a stir. And to this, I'm going to add in the masalas, which is turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander powder, cumin powder. And of course, salt. We'll give this a stir and saute until the tomatoes become soft and mushy. This will take about two to three minutes. So notice the tomatoes have softened. And um, if you wish, uh, at this stage, you can uh, sweeten it a little bit by adding in some jaggery. Or you can also add in some amchur powder if you'd like, or some squeeze in some lemon juice right at the end, okay? so. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and add in the drumsticks, which I have chopped into about two inch, one and a half inch pieces. Just give it a stir. Okay, and now I'm going to add just a little bit of water, about a quarter cup of water. And we're going to cook the sabzi for about three to four whistles and turn off the heat. And uh, after three to four whistles, we're going to release the pressure immediately so we retain the fresh green colors of the drumstick. Great, the pressure is released completely and um, and that looks absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And if you like it to be a little thicker, then you can just uh, simmer it uh, for a bit and then thicken it. Or if you'd like it a little like a curry, just like I've served it right now, then you can just leave it as it is. Give it a taste and check if you need to add any salt um, and um, or even amchur powder like I mentioned. And this is just perfect and ready to garnish it with some coriander leaves and serve it. So I really hope you enjoyed watching the recipe of how to make the sarak bonushak. Isn't that really simple? Putting it in a single pot in a pressure cooker, tossing in all the masalas and then making the sabzi. Do give this recipe a try. You can serve it along with some kadi, hot pulkas or even a Gujarati dal to make it a complete meal. And when you do give this recipe a try, don't forget to take a snapshot of it. Um, share your feedback in the comments below and tag us across all your social channels and I would love to hear from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.